Good morning, Warriors. Top of the morning to everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. You're on your purpose and achieving goals. Today is May 23rd, 2022. Hope you guys had a nice weekend. I was uh, doing a lot of yard work, so I'm a little tired. I think as uh, as the years go on, this becomes a little more difficult. <laughs> I think I feel a little sore as time goes on. So, but we did a good job of getting it all done, and uh, it's going to continue being a process throughout the summer because we have a lot of greenery, and a lot of ivy, and a lot of things that uh, look look nice, but does take some time to take care of. So. Hope you guys are doing well again. Thank you for all the comments, the donations, the uh, um, likes, those type of things. Keep putting those on because I think it's important to uh, to kind of give me some ideas of what you want to talk about. And I can put a lot of things on here, but I really kind of want to look at what you guys are saying. And uh, I'm going to go back to Dex again, who sent me a nice uh, comment today and was asking about angels. So we're going to talk about angels a little bit today, and we'll probably title this one something like, uh, The Angels Are With Us. And so let's kind of talk about that for a second. So uh, his question really is, is seeing numbers with angels and, and that type of thing, and I do believe in that. So let me kind of just give you my overall viewpoint, which has changed over the years. Um, as a child, I was very much into the uh, rituals of Catholicism and like a lot of people are in Christianity where we tend not to focus as much on the relationship between uh, Jesus and us, and God and us, or instead we focus kind of on the going through the motions. As a child, I'll have to admit I did not have that sort of values uh, an understanding of things, so I kind of just went to church, went to CCD, went to um, you know masses all the time. Uh, you know, I knew the church as, as masses and things like that, but really didn't understand that concept. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. I think a lot of times they're more focusing on the the rituals of the goals of the church and really focusing on the relationship you have with your God. And I think that um, this is my problem, was my problem for many, many years. And so as I focused on this more, I've come to realize that it's kind of the opposite. Not that you're not going to focus really on the, the communication, the things that are important as far as goals and things like that go, but it's more important to kind of focus on... Uh, what kind of relationship do you have with your God? And I think that's when you can go ahead and use a lot of your um, uh, powers, your attention powers and things like that, to kind of get all the messages you can from, from God. And obviously, I think that angels are a big part of that. I think angels are the ones that really kind of communicate those messages to you at times and are there to save you. Uh, I really believe that's the case. I think that this world really is not, as I've lived longer, I think this world is more of spirits than it is of, of things. And I see this for a lot of reasons. I mean, I've seen people pass away, and I've seen things rise up in the air after they pass away and, and go and somewhere, you know, up there, which is my version of what heaven is. And what I believe happens is the spirit, the soul, whatever you want to talk, call that, comes out of the body. And that's what's kind of driving the body. The body is no longer by. It was just like a, a vessel or a vehicle for people to use. Uh, and when it's done, they are they go. You know, and I think that that happens, and I, I truly believe that's the case. And I've seen that case many, many times when people pass away. Uh, that thing that's looking like a body is no longer a body. So you have to kind of ask yourself, what is inside of there that's actually driving that to do that? It's almost like a car. You take the engine out of the car, and all of a sudden the car is just a, a, a body there. And I think it's the same kind of principle, except something is driving you 
is driving you know your body to be able to perform all these type of actions and behaviors as time goes on so I think that um, that's important to realize because once you realize that you're more than just the body in fact the body is not very that important yes you look different ways as you get older and you kind of have physical elements here and there but the world itself focuses too much on the body in fact this is what a lot of people focus on they get into this kind of imagery and they kind of look at themselves and now they they look at themselves as being body and not anything else I think once again this is one of uh, the evil ones temptations is to get you to focus away from uh, the spirit and focusing you more on the body but as time has gone on I've realized that we are a lot more uh, spirit than anything else and the spirit the soul is inside of you so the angels are really a way to connect and communicate and I think that as they're communicating to you it is possible now I've not had that happen very often I do remember when I was in um, uh, I think it was Michigan City, Indiana. There was a place that used to be an old uh, Al Capone hangout that they say was haunted. So we went down in the basement, and I think we took some pictures. And uh, they took pictures of all of us, and they should could have sworn there was little two angels on my shoulders. Um, and it's very possible. I think we all have angels that are guarding us at certain times because I do think that God has a certain plan and purpose. And he knows when we're going to live, and he's he knows when it's time to, uh, you know, to um, you know to leave that body. And I think that when you look at it that way, you kind of look at that that death should not be fearful at all. There shouldn't be any kind of uh, fear of death or anything like that, because your 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 soul is leaving to go to a better place. And so I think the key is going to be then to focus on well, okay, well that happens. What is, you know, what is it? How should we be handling this? And how should we look at things that are from angels from God? And so when you look at this whole thing, exactly right. We're talking about numbers. I think Dex is right. There's certain numbers and things that you're given. Now, don't confuse that with the numbers that you get from the evil one and like 666 and things like that. I think you have to kind of understand what the numbers are. But I believe that, and we talked about this in dreams before, I believe dreams are communicating to you something. And I think certainly as you're on this retention more, and as you continue your journey, you're getting, in my opinion, closer to God. And so you're going to communicate a lot more with God. You're going to go ahead and listen to God, and you're going to get messages from God and the angels. And so certainly I believe in that. Now, I haven't experienced it all that much, uh, except for a couple times where I believe that... Uh, there were certain numbers stuck in my mind, but I think what happened was that was a communication from God and the angels to be able to tell me something. And so I think there's some meaning in there. What that meaning is, Dex, I think is certainly, you know, your situation and, and what happens to you and what things are around you right now. But I would always look at dreams in a certain way. Uh, and I would look at numbers in a certain way. I would say, what is the meaning of what's happening? I would ask God, in your meditation and your prayer, what is what is happening here, um, and you know how should I be reading these numbers and things like that? So I think as we look at this, it's important to kind of recognize that you know there is a spiritual world, and we focus a lot on the um, physical world, and sometimes we focus on the economic world and the health world and all that kind of stuff. But the biggest world that we're talking about is, is none of those. None of those worlds are going to last for, for you. What's going to last is going to be your spiritual or your soul and the energy. And this is what people see when they, when they look at you and they become more attracted to you. It's because they see the energy. They like the energy. And in some cases, subconsciously, they want the energy. And so as you look at this type of thing, you have to realize you're getting messages all the time. And as you are, you know, as you're maturing, as you're getting stronger in your energy, you're probably going to end up getting more messages than before. But I would not worry about that because I think a lot of it is signals and things that 
God is trying to tell you about your life and what steps to take and and how to take those and, and all those things as you go along. So I think Dex is a, uh, a good question. Um, the number part of it, I don't know a lot about, to be honest with you. So I think the thing is you have to kind of maybe do some research into it more, kind of look at it more. But I certainly think that uh, it is a direct communication to you, and I believe in those type of things because I believe there's a spirit and that we're not just focusing on our bodies here. We're focusing on a lot more. All right, Dex, I hope that helped a little bit. Uh, I don't think it helped you too much as far as numbers go, but I think that uh, I do agree with you. Those numbers are important in how, you know, what's being communicated to you. And I think as you, uh, as you progress along, I would also look for patterns and look for patterns in, in how those numbers are and what's happening around you with those numbers because it might be giving you a signal of something to happen. But like I said, I don't, I, I, I don't know how to translate those type of numbers and, um, and see that. So you may also want to look at the Bible and kind of see. Um, I'll have to go back and look at myself to see if there's any parts with the angels and some of the numbers you're talking about. All right, my friends. So this is uh, May 23rd, Monday. Hope you guys have a great morning and a great afternoon, and uh, we'll talk soon. I know I'm behind on a couple couple videos, so I'll try to get those done. It's been nice working in the yard, so I've had a chance to kind of do that lately, and uh, we'll try to get one out pretty soon. All right, guys, have a great day. Battle on. God bless you guys, each and every one of you. God bless.